in the last 10 games, Chet Holmgreen has gone under 11 and a half rebounds and assists 80% of the time. Look, in his last 20 games, this is hitting at 65%. Obviously, last 10 games at 80%. But look at this. Head to head, he's played Charlotte once. <clears throat> that game was a blowout. They won by 26 points. He played 23 minutes. 23 minutes, you know what I mean? And had six rebounds, three assists. I think this game should be played exactly exactly how the first one was played with damn near the same exact score. So Chet Holmgren won't play over 25 minutes. And this line should bang. Let's get this dough. Chet Holmgren under 11 and a half rebounds and assists. Yo, yo, I played this line multiple times and it's hit multiple times. This is Jabari Smith over one and a half three pointers made. In the last 10 games, this is hitting at 80%. Last 20 games, at 70%. Yo, head-to-head is only hitting at 57% of the time. But the last time he played the Dallas Mavericks on March 31st, he hit five three-pointers. Jabari Smith over one and a half three-pointers made. What do you mean? Yo, I'm playing the first one straight up, playing this one straight up. And you know I'm putting both on the parlay, bro. Let's get this dough. Yo, Jimmy Butler, this is an interesting play, an interesting line, but you know what time it is. The playoffs are about to start. You know Jimmy Butler is going to put all this, the, the antics to aside, <laughs> all his side quests aside, and now it's, trying, it's time to let's go get this dough. I don't care if Jimmy Butler doesn't see this. We know what time it is. It's time to wake up. I have Jimmy Butler over 24, 25 and a half points and assists. Head to head. <clears throat> against Indiana in both games this year. He's blown past that number. But see, it wasn't hitting in the last 20 games. Like, what, what has Jimmy Butler been doing? Somebody answer me. In the last 10 games, only once. But I'm going over because of the head-to-head matchup against Indiana. Could they end up face, being, facing, in the playoff, facing each other in the playoffs? Like, if this is a little preview of the playoffs, I think Jimmy Butler like to give us a little, nah, he don't care what we're doing about these damn parlays, but this is what I expect from Jimmy Butler. I have a person that bias. I think Jimmy Butler wakes up around this time, especially for the playoffs. Give me Jimmy, Jimmy Butler over 25 and a half points and assists. Bang. Yo, Franz Wagner, I played this. I don't know if it was in my video yesterday. Matter of fact, we went 2-1 and one yesterday. You saw Deion, Deion, DeJounte Murray come through in the end. With over 12 and a half rebounds and assists, I think. And then um, LeBron James. Listen, I played LeBron James over seven and a half assists. I also teased him up to nine and a half assists straight out. And he banged it for the plus money play. Let's get this dough. That's how it go. Franz Wagner, he was in the previous video. I'm going to keep playing this to this hit. Hey, every time it hit, I play it three times back to back. And it banged back to back. Look at it. 80%. <clears throat> in the last 20 games, you can see when he hit, he goes like three, four games without hitting. He hit three, four games without hitting. I got his ass again. He just hit. We did not play. I missed him not playing. I'm playing it today. Franz Wagner under one and a half, three points made. I can't believe they keep having this line on there. I can't play it straight up. Obviously, it's like minus 200 or minus 190 the multiple times that I've played it. But you know what's going on a parlay, bruh. Yo. Last but not least, I like picking on him. I don't know why, because he makes it easy to do so. I don't pick on nobody. Picking on his line, because I just think his lines are so predictable, or his games are so predictable. Watch this. This is DeAndre Ayton, under 23 and a half points and assists. Yo, in the last 20 games, this is not a good line for me to play. I don't like playing 50-50 lines. Like, I might as well toss a coin. They are already 50-50 lines. Vegas is tight. They know what they're doing. Or whoever's setting these lines, whatever the case. In the last 10 games, 50-50. The last 20 games, 55. But look, he's been covering, right? But let's look who he's covering this line against and who he doesn't cover this line against. 23.5 points and assists against Washington. Yes, Charlotte, Chicago. The Knicks, impressive. Atlanta, but these teams... He don't go over Orlando, Miami, 
the Clippers, the Pelicans, and Boston. So look, head to head, obviously he didn't go over. He's right at it. That's about a hook. I'll take it. I don't care. I'm going DeAndre Ayton under 23 and a half points and assists. He's playing against Boston, playing 32, played 32 minutes. This is his ceiling. 11 for 19. This is what you can do. You can get away with this. I don't care. But don't go over. Don't you get not one point over. DeAndre Ayton under 23 and a half points and assists. Let's get this dough.